Cody, we got, we got you here? Yes, sir. All right, man. All right. So, go ahead, Teague. Where were you guys yeah, at? Yeah, no, we're just talking about the pressure of being put in the situation now, uh, having to play at the Super Bowl. It's an awesome, uh, obviously, honor, but you, you ready for the challenge is the question. Definitely. I'm always uh, ready for the opportunity. I don't look at it as just a challenge. I look at it as another opportunity to go out there and do what I've been doing uh, since I was yay high, you know, and that's having an opportunity to play in a great state. How would you describe your head coach? He's a family guy. Well, he's a guy, uh, God, God, you know, praying guy, and then he's a family guy, and then he's a, you know, I, I put us in kind of the same category as family because he's not just our coach; he's more so like a dad, so a secondary dad. Mm-hmm. Is he tough? Uh, when he needs to be, he knows the right times. He's uh he's also a player's coach. Yeah. So- yeah, no, you know, it's just funny because I've I've heard that and it, and it changed a little bit probably before you got there, where you started to look at you know how am I being a head coach because everybody talks about you know there's there's a book there's a way to be a head coach but there really isn't because there's 53 different guys each and every year usually because of the turnover you got to coach to the guys that are there not the way that people tell you you need to, um, you know he's coach of the year in my mind I think Cam's player of the year in in in, in our minds as well. But I feel like the defense, your defense has carried a lot of this team, shutting down some pretty good offenses. What's been the key defensively for you? Obviously, some great players, Luke Keekley and, uh, and, and and others. But what's been the key defensively for this squad? I mean, to be honest with you, you may think, um, you know, it's, it's, it's funny, but it's very simple. Just do your job. You know, it's about accountability. Then the man next to you, knowing that you're going to do your job at the end of the day and you getting it done. So that's really been the key for us, not just individual talent, not uh, this point, that point, doing your job. And if that, that means break on the ball before the ball gets there, that's what it means. It means running downhill, uh, filling the gaps before the, the ball gets there, and, and that's what it means. And if that means for the defensive line getting pressure with front four and everybody else needing to the drop, then that's what we need to do. So it's just about doing your job, and that's really just – what, uh, what's carried us this far. <clears throat> We're talking to Cody Ely uh, for the Panthers, of course. They played at Missouri, terrific college player. All right, forget about gap integrity and schematics and all that nonsense for a second. We got a lot of time to get to that before the game actually starts. You mentioned before, Coney, you don't look at it as a challenge as much as you do an opportunity. You have an opportunity at some point during this game to get your hands on Peyton Manning <laughs> and sack him while the entire world is watching Super Bowl 50 in the great state of California. I mean, that's stuff that you dream about as a kid. How badly do you want to put him on? I don't mean hurt him, but, man, imagine if you sack Peyton Manning. Think about that, man. I mean, I've watched I've You know, Peyton's a great guy. He's going to be, obviously, in the Hall of Fame one day. Um, and I've watched him ever since I was little. You know, I've heard his whole story. His, his family was, you know, his situation. He's going to college, his brother. So he's he's a big idol as far as that. But, you know, when it comes to doing my job, every play is the opportunity for me to put him on his back. You know, mm-hmm. that's, the, that's the approach I take, and that's the mindset I take going into the game. Yeah, wait a second. We're getting into the carefully crafted lines again. <laughs> opportunity, every snap, just trying to do my job. Nonsense. If you sack him, you will have a framed picture behind your you – know, you'll be in a beautiful home someday – Behind the bar, you send the Manning to the turf, and you and your boys will be saying, remember when I did that? Yeah. That's right. Don't give us the nonsense here, Cody. Well, I mean, it's, like I said, it's, it's going to be a, a great opportunity to go out there. You know, you can't – the reason why I'm like that is because I get it. You know, yeah. it doesn't take much for me to get it that this opportunity doesn't come for everybody. You're right. It's, and it's never promised. So, you know, this guy's played in this league 12, 10, 12 years that – hadn't got this opportunity or had the opportunity and hadn't got back to the opportunity. So that's why I'm like that, you know. But it's like, don't get me wrong. I'm going to go out there every play, yeah. and I'm going to play as hard as I can. I'm going to try to get him on his back every opportunity I get. No, I like Period. that. Respect that. I like Respect that. that. Look, know that. Well said, and, buddy. And, and I'm going to tell you something else. It's going to be an honor because with a guy playing with a guy like that, or against a guy like that, mm-hmm. you know, just so much respect goes in the game. He's he, he has paved the way for other players like me. So, I do respect him in a way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. But, 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 doing my job, that's what I'm going to do. But he's the opponent on Sunday. That's all. That's the other thing. The only thing that matters. Look, I played ten years in the NFL. I only got the one Super Bowl. And you're right. So you, you think you can get back there again and again and again, and sometimes it doesn't happen. As you were right. a kid, as you playing the, the game as a as a young and just like I was dreaming about getting to the Super Bowl, it's here. What is your what what are your what is your emotion? What are you telling your family? What do you, like? What are you really feeling inside? 
to be honest with you, it really hasn't hit. You know, one part of me says, okay, you know, this has happened. I'm very fortunate. The other part is like it hadn't even hit me yet. It's so, so real. So, I mean, I really can't honestly answer that until probably during or after the Super Bowl. Yeah. Coney, enjoy the moment, man. It sounds like your head's in the right spot. Enjoy every second. As Tiki said, you don't you don't always get a chance to get back there the second time. Coney Ely from the Panthers. We'll talk soon, buddy. Enjoy yeah. it. Good luck. Thank you, guys.